Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa guys. Josh here back with another video. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are crushing 2021 and you're getting off to a great start. And if you're not, man, then today could be the day that we change things around. Today, we are actually at the Vanderbilt Psychiatric Hospital, man. I know this is kind of weird, but I feel this is contextually relevant for today's video, man. I have to make sure that I can get this video done before they kick me out of here. Cause they said only staff and only actual patients, man. So they might see me recording and cut this thing short. Now guys, I wanna make a full disclosure, dude. Before we actually get into the topic at hand, I do not wanna come across as apathetic or insensitive to people who actually have real mental health issues. We thought we were about to get kicked out of here already, dude, cause as soon as I started filming, security showed up, man. But this is about trying to make a point, man. When you come to a place like this, they're going to medicate you, man. They're gonna medicate you for, for different me uh, coping mechanisms and numbing uh, mechanisms, right? And the same thing happens to us every single day. We also self-medicate with entertainment, with social media, with false hope, with drugs, with alcohol, with uh, the opposite sex, etc., etc. And that is our way of coping with the voices in our head. Everybody that walks by me, I'm thinking is gonna come and tell me to stop recording because it looks like a bunch of staff and security. But anyways, guys, the two voices that I'm referring to that are in my head and that are in your head as well, they're in everybody's head, is number one, our prissy, weak, soft voice. The one that tries to keep us safe, keep us you know, from taking any risk, right? It's almost like that motherly voice, right? No offense to mothers out there, but the ones that try to nurture you and just keep you soft and cuddly, right? That is our weak voice. The second voice is our boss voice, man. That's the voice that tells us to take action, man. The one to get us out of our comfort zones, to take risks, and to take our life to that next level. What's up, guys? So the fuzz showed up, dude. The fuzz, the police, the 5-0 showed up and kicked us out and said, do you have authorization to film on this property, man? This is private property, bro. And I was like, oh snap, peace, deuce, I'm out of here, man. And you know, I've had so many obstacles today, man, both internally and externally, trying to prevent me from shooting today's video, man. You know, a lot of times we negotiate with our, these thoughts, right? These voices in our mind, we negotiate and, and uh, a lot of times we give ourselves permission to get off the hook, man. And so, you know what? We just decide, okay, we're just gonna pivot. I'm about 35 minutes away from the house. I said, what can I do right now to solve this problem? I can't film at the psychiatric hospital, so what can I do? Let's go to the Parthenon, right? A lot of us, we take these as signs, man. Oh, it's not meant to be. Allah doesn't want me to do it because there's an obstacle. Whereas you should look at it as like, okay, fine, cool, whatever. That's happened. What can I do to put myself back in the winner's column? Now, if you've noticed a step up in quality, bro, of the video in the picture, that is because of amazing supporters like you guys. After thanking Allah Zawa Jail, it is because of MTG Nation, man. Thank you guys so much. Those who have joined MTG Nation, those who have contributed and donated via PayPal, via, via Patreon, via GoFundMe, the super chats on the live streams, etc., etc. You guys are the ones that are allowing this after Allah Zawa Jail. You're the ones that are allowing me, affording me the opportunity to step up my game and take Project Dream Achieve It to that next level, guys. So if you're not a part of MTG Nation and you wanna help support the channel and take this channel to that next level, guys, hit that first link down in the description below. Now, what you're gonna get out of MTG Nation is approximately eight to 10 hours every single month of behind the scenes exclusive content that I don't share with anybody. Man, I don't share it with nobody, dude but the, uh, behind the scenes of how I'm growing my YouTube channel, what it's like to live in America is a Muslim revert, showing you my family, showing you my struggles, showing you my setbacks, showing you my wins, showing you the merchandise that I'm developing and get, getting feedback from you guys. I'm giving to give you, I'm going to give you uh, discounts on the merch. I'm going to give you uh, early access to the merch. I'm giving so much value guys. And guess what? It only cost five dollars dollars a month i removed all excuses man all those negotiations that are going in your mind all those different voices of the weak little prissy voice and that boss voice don't listen to that prissy voice anymore take action hit that first link down in the description below so we can take this channel to the next level and more importantly take your life 
to that next level. Now guys, you might be asking yourself, or saying to yourself rather, all right, Josh, I agree with you. Yes, I negotiate with myself all the time. I negotiate with that prissy little weak princess voice and I'm tired of it and I'm sick of it and I wanna take my life to that next level. What can I do? Well guys, you need to learn to use that prissy little weak cowardly voice as a trigger, man, because it's never gonna go away. It doesn't matter how successful you become, how much you achieve, how much you ignore that voice and you listen to your boss voice, it will never go away. It is gonna be there all the time. You're gonna negotiate with it from the time that you wake up to the time that you go to bed. So what you need to do, guys, is use it as a trigger, man. As soon as you start getting those thoughts of throwing in the towel, of giving up those, you know, using those excuses and those justifiable reasons not to do something, use it as a trigger to immediately do the opposite right and we're not talking about life changing decisions here guys we're not talking about life changing choices we're simply talking about using it as a trigger to do the opposite of what that voice is telling you to do man so if it says ah you know i'm not gonna go to the gym today it's too cold i'm sore i'm tired i'm stressed do something as simple as getting up off the couch and going for a 15 minute walk a 20 minute walk do some jumping jacks do something guys because what is important is long term uh choices right it's about long term choices much this dude's doing a gopro right and what i mean by that is compounding choices man when you make these small choices every single day to do the opposite of what that prissy little voice is telling you and you decide to do the opposite over time over the next couple days over the next couple weeks over the next couple months and over the next couple years that will completely transform your life here we are guys in the backyard shooting bows as usual and i said something at the beginning of this video with regards to different coping mechanisms different numbing agents if you will and one of the most severe is false hope man which we're going to talk about as soon as i fire this arrow off and shot love miss me love now unfortunately guys this is the one that i hear the most often you always hear yachi make dua for me i'm struggling to get a job i'm struggling to get married I want to go overseas and uh, study Islam, inshallah, Zogel. I want to start my business. I want to start YouTube. Make dua for me. And that's fine, inshallah. We'll make dua for you. But at the same time, guys, do you actually have to take action? And that's where this false hope concept comes in, where you just sit in your mind, in your thoughts all day long when you're, whatever you're doing, man, from the time that you wake up to the time that you're in your bed trying to fall asleep you're in your thoughts man and you're wishing and you're hoping and you're praying to uh to allah oh allah give me a spouse oh allah do this oh allah do this for me but you yourself aren't actually taking any action guys that's not how it works dude you have to make dua and then you have to move man you know if you ask allah hey uh, you know uh, ya allah make me patient right you're not just gonna magically quote unquote wake up one day and have a bunch of supper dude that's not how things work inshallah allah is that jail if he answers your dua he's gonna put you in a situation situations to where you can actually practice supper inshallah you just failed your exam khairan inshallah here's the time to be you know patient you just got in a fight with your spouse khairan inshallah here's the time to be patient your son or you know daughter Billah, comes to you and says i'm pregnant now you got a chance to be sober right uh you know have sober and be patient right hopefully those those are some severe examples but the point is guys is that when you make dua to allah you have to take action man so that is the video guys i hope that you have gotten value from today's video if you have be sure to drop your boy like down below because it truly does help the channel if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell because I'm dropping two new videos every single week, every Monday and every Thursday. Plus, do two live streams on Saturday and Sunday on all things mindset, marriage, and the Muslim struggle, man. So if you're picking up what I'm putting down, be sure to subscribe. 
I hope again that this has been valuable to you guys. I'm trying to catch my breath. All this uh, shooting bows, man, where's the, bo where's the brother out? Um, guys, if you want to join MTG Nation and you want to become a part of one of the best Muslim communities, man, who are actually serious about achieving our dreams and supporting one another, hit that first link down in the description below. All that money goes right back in the channel, right back into investing in you. And with that being said, guys, Jazakal Khair and Bulka Fika Mazoi, start worrying about yesterday, start worrying about tomorrow. Make today great, guys, and I'll see you in that next one. There's an old saying that you're leaving money on the table. You're leaving cash on the table, man. Or is in a, from a spiritual and Islamic perspective, dude, you're leaving good deeds on the table. A ton of good deeds on the table, man. Today, I want to talk to you about literally what I believe to be the easiest good deed.